In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how to make a frame handle for a knife, a Bowie knife. So this is a knife I made recently, and you can see it has a coffin style handle. The reason this knife has to have a frame handle, the width here at the butt end of the handle is wider than the width up at the neck. I wanted this handle to have the steel frame around it and if I would have just used the tang I would have had to cut a slot in my guard that would have been big enough to fit over the widest part and then when I would have slid that guard up I would have had a little gap up here and you would have been able to see the gap. In this case I had to construct the handle. And this handle is composed of five pieces, two wooden scales, two brass liners, and steel frame. All that is constructed and fits around the tang. So we'll get started and show you a little bit about how I made this frame handle for the Bowie knife. At this point, I've got the heat treating uh, and the final grind done on the blade, guard fit up, and I'm starting to work on the handle. Got a piece of quarter inch W2 that I'm using to make the frame, and I'm just laying a, my template over uh, that piece uh, and drawing out the outline of where that frame is going to be. And I placed the knife on it so I can get the tang drawn on it as well. And I'm just trying to get everything lined up, evenly spaced. So I've got the basic outline done for the frame. Just putting it on there and holding it up to see how the fit looks, make sure it, it looks right. So I'm going to cut this slot out for the tang uh, on my uh, portable bandsaw. So the first thing I have to do is drill a hole, a relief hole at the end of the slot so that I can get the piece out or at least help me get the piece out. And so that's what I did there. First was drill the hole then cut that slot out on the portable bandsaw. Once I got that piece out, cleaned up the very butt end of that slot with the saw and uh, followed up with the file just to kind of smooth that out and then just went on continued cutting out the frame pattern on the bandsaw after I had that done marked out where I wanted to cut my corners on the very butt of the handle back over to the bandsaw I'd cut those out and from there back over to the grinder uh, belt sander just to clean up those edges and as well as that uh, take a little of the thickness off uh, so I could match the thickness of the tang so I had that done and uh, took a piece of 16th inch thick brass uh, scrap brass that I had so I'm just using the frame that I made uh, to mark the pattern out onto that brass. These are going to be the liners. They're going to go between the frame and uh, the wooden uh, scales. And took that over to the bandsaw, cut those pieces out, cleaned them up on the belt sander. And then I used CA glue to glue the frame uh, to the brass liner pieces. sprayed a little accelerant on there to speed up the drying process glued those three pieces together once I had them all glued up then I can sand uh, the profile down and get the edges all uh, nice and clean so I'm just sliding it up there on the tang checking the fit make sure everything's looking good and then over to the belt sander get the edges all flush checking the fit up there make sure it, it slides up good to the guard it has a, a good fit up to the guard now I'm marking the pinholes so these are uh, it's gonna be 1 16th inch pins I'm gonna use and the pins are gonna go through the entire handle the scales the liner and the frame so I'm just drilling those out and from there I went and got my 
scale pieces and use that frame uh, to mark out the pattern on the scale back over to the bandsaw to cut those scales out and I'm lining up those pieces and just using a little C clamp uh, so that I can use that frame as a, a guide to drill my holes into the scales so I did that all four holes on each scale got them all lined up and then drove the pins in and assembled everything those brass pins uh, been pretty easy those aren't going to be the the final pins just using those as for for the working pins um, once I got it all assembled then I can go back over to the belt sander and grind the whole assembly uh, get all the sides all nice and even and flush so there I'm just marking out um, about where the handle is going to meet up to the guard so I'm marking the guard and the handle and that's just to help me uh, when I go uh, to do some sanding on the guard sanding on those scales so I know where that's going to line up now I'm just taking the pins out and the liner and the frame I'm just heating up with the torch uh, that will release that CA glue so I can disassemble those pieces. Let's get those liners off. I cleaned all the burned CA glue and re-glued those back together using the pins as a guide and so I'm doing my file work on these two brass liners I want them to be symmetrical and so I used a jigsaw blade as a guide that little white blade that was there was a jigsaw blade that's just so I can get even spacing and have uh, even file marks down the length of the handle and I just used a straight file to get started and then I used a little triangle file to corner uh, around the edges went all the way around and then heated that up again with the torch to release the glue and then reassembled the handle again with glue and CA glue and the pins. I'm marking where the tang is going to be uh, inside that handle so I can uh, drill my hole out. I'm going to put a 3 16 inch pin it's going to go through the handle uh, and through the tang. That, that's going to secure the handle to the knife. So using some 320 grit sandpaper, smooth it up along the edge there, and then some brass black coating around the edge. Uh, just going for a, a more of an antique look so that the low spots, my, my file spots, uh, will have a darker finish. So I'm sanding the high spots off there again with 320 grit sandpaper. Look at that done, and it's time to do the glue up. So I've got my epoxy uh, poured inside the handle. <clears throat> there I'm putting the 3 16th inch brass pin in. Let the epoxy dry. While that's drying, I'm marking out my scales uh, about the thickness that I'm looking for, and then uh, taking those two scales over to the disc disc sander, uh, taking some of the thickness down, and as well as trying to make sure I got a good flat surface. So the handle's all dried, and I'm just sanding down the pin so it's flush, and I'm using a, a little Dremel there to rough up the surface of those liners just try to get a better surface for the glue uh, to adhere to for when I uh, glue on the scales put the pins in clamping it letting it dry and it's uh, ready to be sanded up with the edges all rounded off and 
And that's how I made the frame handle for this knife. And here's the link to the full build for this knife if y'all want to check it out. Hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. See you next time.